Hey, you guys. Yes. She's pumping out these videos that she's not playing. Okay. But anyways, um, I'm down to this much water. So, I'm not going to be too long with this video. But I would like to say this. Um, what, what is the topic? Okay. Um, a married woman feel like that a single woman can't tell her nothing about her marriage. In a way, I kind of feel like there's some truth to a certain extent. But you know what? I don't even want to say the single woman because sometimes it could be another married woman that can't give advice. But I just feel like that when you honestly, you have a friend that can actually be honest with you, that make good decisions, sound judgment and everything else. Trust what they're saying. Um, okay, for instance, I have this friend. And I remember over a period of time, um, you know, her husband was asking her to like, well, you know, sometimes, baby, I know you're tired, but can you cook? Babe, I know sometimes you're tired, can you clean? You know, I, well, I don't know. I don't think I, you know, all this other stuff, right? And I'm just, me being a single woman, I'm hearing this guy. I know she hear him, but she ain't trying to hear him. Because she like, you know, I work every day and I'm tired and, you know, this and that and the other. So, giving him excuses. Well, this this went on, I kid you not, for a good two years. And, uh, you know, all I'm going to say is this. He ended up cheating. And I was like, you know... I'm here for you because this is not like this is not the norm. I have a few friends that believe in that they don't have to do certain things that their husband asked them to do. And the most of the majority of them that I hear is that if it's not the cooking, it's the cleaning. If it ain't the cleaning, it's the cook. It's like it works hand in hand. If it's not that, it's about spending time. It's like those are the actual three. Okay, sometimes there is the sex and it'd be other things as well. But, you know, it, 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 you know, I was like, well, do you hear? I said, well, did you hear him? Because she's like, girl, I can't believe this or whatever and stuff like that. I went through his phone and I'm finding all of these different messages, you know, so she was going deeper and deeper and deeper and finding out all of these things that has been going on. I say, well, what did he tell you? Like, what did he say when you busted him? She was like saying that how he was just really letting her know. Like, well, you know, I remember when I was saying this, I was trying to tell you that I need you to do that and it was like going out of one out of the ear out the other and she was like look I said well did you believe him I said because you know those were simple things that you could do I mean it's too much technology out here um she, like she said she was tired but I'm but I was like he was asking you to do it every day if you can do it at least three to four times you know maybe pick up some rotisserie chicken one day with some coleslaw whatever y'all eat you know she's like i don't have time for that she just thought and you know kind of like feeling like that from what she was told from her married her other married friend she was like like we was just saying like we don't live in the back in the day we're modern women and we're doing we this and we're that you know you know i'm trying to build a business i have kids and all of these other things and everything else and you know she was like and she, and she threw this shade she was like and plus a, a single woman can't tell me nothing about being married well then i just i had to let her kind of have it but in a nice way. I say, you know, it. I, I'm single by choice. I say, we all know that. I say, but the thing uh, that you have to understand is that you have to listen. That is the key thing to anything is to listen. Listen to what that person is telling you. That's just like, you know, at times, just in, in things in general, if people giving you direction somewhere or if you getting, you know, training at your job, it's very important to listen. And it's so important to listen to your, your significant other, you know. So, and I say, you know, you don't have to be married to understand, to listen. I say, he was asking you for 
Just simple things. How simple can you be with that? And you didn't want to do that. I say, so he went somewhere where he can get that attention. You know, I understand that we're all living in a modern day and we're all trying to chase the bag, secure the bag. But, you know, while you're securing the bag, you know, you're forgetting about the person who lay with you at night. And that's not cool because you can't hug up with no money. You know, at the end of the day. So, it would it take me back. And I'm just like, you know, I have some married friends. Like I said, I have married friends. And sometimes, you know, they gave, they give me the worst advice. And they mean well. But what works, what I understood is that what works for me, works for me. Because a lot of things I don't like to be bothered with. I just feel like I'm not a person to feel like I have to play detective all the time. If I feel like I need to be detective and stuff, I need to go get a job being a detective. I just, me, I just, like, I'm not that person to be messing with your phone. Like, you know, and my friends was like, you crazy, like, I just remember. And this is sound advice for anybody. Sometimes, you know, it's just best to not tell your business or anything because... <clears throat> There are often times that people would try to get in your ear about certain things that work for them, but then you'll be messed up and then your relationship will be messed up. I understood that long ago, years ago. But what I understood, especially with this Facebook or whatever, this promise up, I'm going to give y'all a short story. Okay, so my friend was like, well, do I check my ex Facebook? And I was like, no, nah. I was like, wow. She was like, hmm, I check my husband Facebook. You know, she was like, because girl, you just don't know what kind of stuff be on that. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh, so do I? She's like, you need to. And then I had asked my other friend. I was like, well, am I wrong? Because I just don't think I need to check it, you know, and everything else. Then they was like, hmm, I check it. You, Jay, you've been single so long. This is what you're supposed to do. And I'm just like, I don't want to sign up to do these things, you know? So I was doing it. I did. I said, like, damn, you know, I've been out the loop for so long. Maybe I'm wrong on this. Maybe. You know, I'm too, not to say I'm so naive to things or whatever. It's just like if it's not in front of me or you're not giving me an inkling, then I'm going to feel some kind of way, you know, and everything else. <clears throat> so it made me, I was like, okay, let me go see. Let me go look. And then it was like, okay, mm, she his type. Okay. Oh, this is a fake page. He's so dumb. He don't even know. Then before I knew it, my attitude started changing with him. I just thought... Just doing the mind. And I was like, he was like, where is this coming from? This is not even you. He was like, we don't, we don't do this. And I was like, you know what? He is so right. He is so right because I'm just like, okay, he got a page. I could see if you on now, no tell him what's in his inbox because I just feel like, you know, I don't have time to be cracking codes. I used to do that when I was younger. I, I don't have time no more. Like, that's just, my energy is just not for that. And I know that people, even some of my friends were like, you know, you just play it too cool. That's because you ain't just never really love make you crazy. Well, you know what? There are different levels of love and if love make you do all of that then i don't need that level of love because i'm already busy doing other things and i sometimes i feel like that my friends don't have enough to do you know even like you know my best friend and his girlfriend you know and it's like she looked for receipts and like oh yeah you didn't tell me you was going to popeyes or whatever you told me you was going to you know your ain't house you know but you didn't tell me you stopped. And I'm just like, that is crazy. Like, you you have time to sneak around to do that. I don't know. Some women like being detectives. But it's just like, with me, I just feel like when you do find out, what are you going to do with that newfound information? You know, are you going to leave him? Or are you going to keep bringing it up? You know, it's just too much work. The only way I feel like if you have to go look at and maybe I'm wrong, but I just know this worked for me. If I'm going to look for some information, that means that I need to find a way to leave you alone. Because some ain't right and I just need the information. Oh, I need the information, I just leave you alone, you know? But you all let me know. Do you all get out there going through your... um? 
significant other information that's what y'all do because i'm not trying to act like i'm above it it's just that when you get to a certain point in your certain point of your your life where it's just like a been that done it let me tell you you know love they ain't lying love will make you do some things that you never thought will pull you out of character you know and make you feel a little insecure like you know what it is about this other person uh <laughs> I've, I've done some things. I've done some things. But, yeah, I'm above that now. That's just back in the day or whatever. But, y'all let me know. Share a story with me. Yeah, I'm playing in this hell because I really like it. But, anyways, yeah, so I'm going to go on to my next video. And, until then, I will holler. So, stay tuned.